When you create drawings of parts that include holes, you will likely want to use center marks to help locate the holes. As I begin a new drawing of this plate, I want to show you an option that will affect the appearance of center marks in your drawings. You can see here I have the option of having center marks automatically added to holes, fillets, or slots for both parts and assemblies in my drawing as soon as a view is created. Let's turn these options on and take a look at what happens. I'll go ahead and insert a front view of this part, and with that option turned on, all of the center marks are added automatically based on my setting. Let me delete this view and turn off the center mark options. Now when I recreate the view, the center marks are left off completely. To manually add the center marks I want, I'll simply click on the center mark icon from the annotations toolbar. Again, I can choose to automatically add them to any holes, fillets, or slots by checking the boxes or I can manually pick the edges I wish to mark. Center marks will be automatically sized to fit a hole, so be sure that if you have more than one edge to select, like with this counterboard hole here, always pick the outermost edge. Another very useful annotation is the hole callout, which automatically annotates different types of holes. This is the hole callout icon. Once it is activated, you simply click the edge of a hole, click again to locate the callout, and it's done. You can repeat the process for each hole. Here in the Property Manager, you can change the appearance of the callout, such as its justification. Or if you need to modify the text of the callout, you can type it in right here.